Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and today me and my mum will be reacting to Madonna's tribute Long Live the King VMA 2009 So I hope you enjoy it and before we get into the video don't forget to follow me and my mum on our social media accounts Here she is, Queen of Pop Thank you Jackson. <laughs> wow. Michael Jackson already gets applause for just his name, doesn't he? Yeah. I mean, that just shows how amazing he was. Yeah. I have a little bit more to say than that. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, speak to stop. Again. Michael Jackson was born in August 1958. So was I. Oh. Michael Jackson grew up in the suburbs of the Midwest. So did I. Michael okay. Jackson had eight brothers and sisters. So do I. I mean, so far she's just comparing herself to Michael. Mm. Yeah, but they have a lot in common. Yeah, yeah. which is a yeah. good thing. I just yeah. I think that 1958 was a special year because we had big artists born in those years. Mm, that year, yeah. What else did we have? 90, well, Madonna, Michael Jackson, we yeah. don't need anybody else. <laughs> we don't need anyone else. That was a special Yeah, they year. were pretty much. Yeah. yeah. Come on, what else do we want? Okay, we had in the past Elvis Presley and the Beatles. Whitney and Houston. Whitney Houston came after oh, Michael Jackson okay. and uh, Madonna. But I'm not sure what year she was born in. And then we had, um, what, uh, what did I what say? What about the Supremes? Oh, that was more time. That was in the 60s. That was a very long time ago. When Michael Jackson was six, he became a superstar and was perhaps the world's most beloved child. When I was six, my mother died. Oh, I think bless. he got the shorter end of the stick. Mm. I never had a mother, but he never had a childhood. I mean, they've both missed out on like big things that usually happen to people, don't they? Mm. Yeah, well, childhood is it is important, and then mother's love is mother's love. Nobody yeah. can replace your mum's no. love. You know, God forbid, if uh, you lose your father, you know, a mother can replace everything. But losing a mother, that's very devastating. And, you know, no matter how much a stepmother tries, she can never replace your mother figure. Yeah. And it's really hard for children to accept another person in their life. It's not easy. No. And when you never get to have something, you become obsessed by it. Mm. I spent my childhood searching for my mother figures. Sometimes I was successful. But how do you recreate your childhood when you are under the magnifying glass of the world for your entire life? I mean, that's a fair point. Michael was, um, he was well known at such a young age and everyone had their eyes on like what he was doing. And she stood by herself there. Mm. No, yeah, well, she, well uh, and also she's saying that how much you miss out on something that you don't have. Like she missed out um, on her mother's love and Michael Jackson missed out on uh, uh, his childhood. He sang that song, Have You Seen My Childhood? If you look at Michael Jackson's videos when he's on tour as a little boy, um, okay, at home he, he ate healthy food. Obviously his mum wouldn't obviously maintain a good diet for them, but when yeah. they were out it was just quick snacks. And it was from one country to another, you know, the sleep patterns were all disturbed and they were having naps in the car. So you see them in car, as cars asleep. And it was just a fast life and they got famous overnight. Nobody was prepared for it. You know yeah. what I mean? It just came. No adults were prepared that they, these guys were going to get so famous so fast and they just touring everywhere in the in every country and there were fans screaming everywhere they went there was no childhood it was just making money yeah there is no question that michael jackson was one of the greatest talents the world has ever known definitely yep oh look at michael jackson's brother oh that when he sang a song at the ripe old age of eight he could make you feel like an experienced adult was squeezing your heart with his yeah, words. Yeah, yeah. It was like a proper love song. Especially that I'll be there. He, you think he's really going to come and get this guy for you if he doesn't treat you right. I yeah. mean, his, his vocals were like outstanding since he was so young. Like, he's just... 
nat- he's just a natural talent he's born he? for it like i've said before it was a gift and nobody appreciated him a gift from god yeah. you know a special person on earth and nobody appreciated him the punch of muhammad ali Ooh. that his music had an extra layer of inexplicable magic that didn't yeah. just make you want to dance but actually made you believe that you could fly dare to dream be anything that you wanted to be because that is what heroes do and michael jackson was a hero that's definitely true isn't it yeah it's just so positive you know why, why didn't people say these nice things about him when he was alive he needed that instead they, they were just horrible to him like he sang that song leave me alone yeah. that's why he sang it just leave me alone he hated it he hated it when people called him uh, uh, wacko jacko he used to say what's wacko jacko am i wacko jacko what's i mean it was just too sensitive michael yeah. jackson Oh yeah, um, he remember that reaction we did to his Super Bowl? Super Bowl that yeah, was I amazing, that, yeah. wasn't it? It, yeah. it was so good. Madonna did it as well. Yeah. She was really good too. They were yeah. both good, yeah. Dined with prime ministers and presidents. Girls fell in love with him. Boys yeah, fell in love with him. him. <laughs> Everyone wanted to dance like him. He seemed otherworldly, but he was also a human being. Yeah. Like most performers, he was shy. No, but that's human. what people forgot. He is human at the end of the day. The, the things that they say, it will hurt him, won't it? People who say wrong things are jealous, obviously. Yeah, because they mm. know they can't even be close to it. Can't say anything nice about anyone. Don't say anything bad. Yeah. If, if, if you don't like his music, that's your choice. Don't listen to it. But why mm. say something wrong? There are people who like his music, who are buying his music all over the world. Every country, every person knows Michael Jackson, no matter how rich or poor they are. Mm. And they like his music and they are buying it. So if you don't like it, just keep it to yourself. Why pass wrong opinions about people? With insecurities. I can't say we were great friends, but in 1991, I decided I wanted to try and get to know him better. I asked him out to dinner. I said... My treat, I'll drive, just you and me. Ooh. He agreed to show up to my house without any bodyguards. We drove to the restaurant in my car. It was dark out, but he was still wearing sunglasses. I said, Michael, I feel like oh, I'm you talking like to, to a wear um, sunglasses, don't you? I want to listen to this. <laughs> Do you think you could take off those glasses so I could see your eyes? He paused for a moment. Then he tossed the glasses out the window, looked at me with a wink and a smile and said, Can you see me now? Is that better? Uh, I'm that jealous. Moment, could... At that moment, what happened? I'm jealous. <laughs> At that moment, get that back on. I'm jealous now. See both his vulnerability and his charm. Okay. The rest of the dinner, I was hell-bent on getting him to eat french fries, drink wine, have dessert and say bad words. At least she was trying to be, like, an, a good, encouraging friend here, wasn't she? Like, she was trying to get him to eat and she actually, like, cared about him. Yeah, yeah, so my kid is not sensitive, watched what he's, what he said, where Madonna just says what she needs to say. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not like, like a straightforward sort yeah, of person. Yeah which, yeah, which is good, but they were, like, opposites attract, weren't they? are two different, like, chalk and cheese, two different people. Yeah. Yeah, I was more of a Michael Jackson, yeah. <laughs> Things he never seemed to allow himself to Oh, that's to Taylor do. Swift. Later, we went back to my house to watch a movie, and we sat on the couch like two kids. Okay. And somewhere in the middle of the film, his hand snuck over. Okay. And mine. <laughs> um, <laughs> what, what do you think about that? Let me listen to it. Don't pause it. He's looking for a friend more than a romance. Friend. And I was happy to oblige him. Friend. And in that moment, yep. friend. he didn't feel like a superstar. He felt like a human being. Yeah. We went out a few more times together, and then for one reason or another, we fell out of touch. Well, they're busy, aren't then they? Mm. the witch hunt began. And it seemed like one negative story after the other was coming out about Michael. Oh, I gosh. felt his pain. I know what it's like to walk down the street and feel like the whole world is turned against you. I know what it's like to feel helpless and unable to defend yourself because the roar of the lynch mob is so loud that you are convinced your voice can never be heard. 
I mean, all those face, uh, false accusations about him being like a paedophile and having children. Like, there's not there even was no true. evidence. There was no yeah. evidence. Come on, those police, those police cops you just raided his house. He didn't even go back to that Neverland. You know, he made that was his dream home. Yeah, he didn't even go back. If there was something, they would have found it. I, I don't believe if they those if he got arrested and he was taken to court. I don't think there's any bribery there. If there if there was something against Michael Jackson, they would have found it. How Definitely. can you not find anything? Yeah. You know, there would have been something, but mm -hmm. there was nothing. Yeah. They un unscrewed every drawer, every corner of that house. They checked and they couldn't find anything. But I had a childhood. And I was allowed to make mistakes and find my own way in the world without the glare of the spotlight. When I first heard that Michael had died, I was in London, days away from the opening of my tour. Oh. Michael was going to perform in the same venue as me a week later. All I could think about in that moment was, I had abandoned him. That we had abandoned him. That we had allowed this magnificent creature that once set the world on fire to somehow slip through the cracks. Wow. While he was trying to build a family and rebuild his career, we were all busy passing judgment well we weren't uh, it wasn't abandoned in any way not by his army of fans no his yeah they were army, so loyal army, yeah, yeah yeah they always loved him and always will it was just these greedy people yeah who, 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 who were trying to sue him for his money just greedy people that's all i can say and they're not bothered about how much they ruin people reputation it's mental health it, it's everything is weight everything deteriorated and they didn't they didn't care they were just after his money like that song i'll do anything for money that's why money. i sang that didn't yeah. <laughs> yeah sell my soul to the devil most of us had turned our backs on him in a desperate attempt to hold on to his memory i went on the internet to watch old clips of him dancing and singing on tv and on stage and i thought my god he was so unique so original so rare Definitely. and there will never no be competition. anyone like him again yeah he was a king God's gift. Yeah, he was. Yeah, king of pop as well. Like he, everyone. God's gift. It was God's gift. Yeah. What can replace that? Nothing. Wow, Jimmy Kimmel looks really young here. But he was also a human, human. being, mm. and alas, we are all human beings, and sometimes we have to lose things before we can truly appreciate them. I want to end this on a positive note and say that my sons, age nine and four, are obsessed with Michael Jackson. There's not a surprised. Whole crotch grabbing and moonwalking going on in my house. <laughs> and well, it seems like no, a whole all that when he's dead. Has discovered yeah, but it shows that he's an inspiration to all generations. Yeah, because nobody can perform like him. Nobody's yeah. can beat what he did. What he did. His genius and are bringing him to life again. I hope that wherever Michael is right now, he is smiling about this. He will be. I think it's a great thing that she's um, doing that. Yes. Yes, Michael Jackson was a human being, but damn it, he was a king. Yeah. Long live the king. Well, his memory will live on uh, through many, many, many generations. Yeah. And also, like, his legacy stands, like, yeah. God bless his soul. There you go, that was a, a positive uh, tribute to Michael Jackson, which I pre uh, appreciated my Madonna saying all those nice things about Michael Jackson. He was a human. People forgot that, obviously. Uh, a lot of greed took over. Um, uh, saying a lot of positive things about Michael Jackson. Uh, things people should have been aware of uh, when he was alive and not giving him that much stress and uh, making him feel lonely and, and you know people just showed hate against him and making false allegations against him and uh, Madonna just said it all Madonna just said everything what people needed to hear about Michael Jackson yeah now, isn't it? If you would like to see more content like this, it'll be on the screen and please subscribe as we are nearly to the 1k borderline. Landmark. Landmark.